the dream holiday that turned to tragedy. Oxfam in crisis and a knife crime warning. You're watching Five News tonight. Welcome to Five News Tonight. I'm Claudia Eliza Armar. It was supposed to be a special 30th birthday celebration for six British friends, but on Saturday, their helicopter flight over the Grand Canyon went tragically wrong when it crashed into jagged rocks. Three of them were killed, including two inseparable brothers. The other three are in hospital after being pulled from the wreckage. Now, it's not the first fatal crash the helicopter company has been involved in, as Olivier Kingsley reports. Now, it's a world-famous charity known for its fight against poverty, but now Oxfam has become the focus of an international scandal following claims aid workers used prostitutes in Haiti in 2011. Today, after having crisis talks with the government to try to keep its funding, its deputy chief executive resigned. Penny Lawrence, who was programme director at the time, said she was ashamed and takes full responsibility. While the Haitian ambassador in London told Five News he wants those involved named and to face charges. Our chief correspondent, Tessa Chan Chapman reports. Well, in the last half an hour, the International Development Secretary, Penny Morden, who was at that meeting, has issued a statement and she has said that Oxfam has made a full and unqualified apology and that they will be judged on their actions going forward. However, she didn't mention anything over withdrawing of funding from the charity. Now, hundreds of emergency workers are searching for clues to find out what caused the Russian plane crash which killed 71 people. Now, after more than a year of political deadlock, could a power-sharing deal in Northern Ireland be in sight? Well, that's the hope of the Prime Minister, who headed to Stormont today to encourage Sinn Féin and the DUP to resolve their differences. Well, our political editor... Now, if you carry a knife, you're far more likely to be injured or killed. That's the stark warning from police as they launch a national campaign on the issue. Recent figures show that last year the number of fatal stabbings was at its highest in a decade. 215 people were killed with a knife or similar weapon in 2017. Welcome back. You're watching Five News tonight. Now, it was seen as a revolutionary policy where new mums and dads were given the right to share maternity leave from work. But nearly three years after its introduction, only 2% of families are actually taking up the opportunity of shared parental leave. And the government says only around half of adults are even aware that it even exists. So how does the scheme work exactly? Well, basically, it allows parents to share 50 weeks of leave and 37 weeks of paid leave after they have a baby. So they can take time off separately or even together for a maximum of up to six months. And it's paid at just over £140 a week or 90% of your average earnings, whichever is lower. Now, hundreds of thousands of young people in the UK suffer from incontinence problems, but now a charity says the way children are being treated at school is actually making them worse. They're hearing more and more parents concerned about how toilet access is being restricted, making them ill and putting them at risk of bullying. Ben Hunt has this report. Well, the um, school which that little boy attends has told us tonight that it will keep its existing policy, but children who do need additional toilet breaks will be accommodated. Now, he is one of the nation's most loved book characters, but Peter Rabbit has found himself in hot water tonight. The new film adaption of the Beatrix Potter story has upset some people with allergies. Now, it's the um, highly anticipated wedding of the year. And now, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have revealed more details about their big day, including a carriage ride through Windsor. Now, the news has gone down quite well among royal fans, eager to catch a glimpse of the couple on the 19th of May. And there's good news for those who like football, too, as our royal correspondent Simon Vigar reports. I better get my hat. Well, that's it from Five News tonight. Claire Nazir has the weather next, and Catherine Nash has all the updates throughout the night. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.